an update to a WSAZ investigation. Deadly details denied. When a teenager in Boone County died in an alleged child neglect case, we started asking the state questions about what it knew before this teen's death. But since that time, the state has refused to release any information, citing federal law. However, tonight, News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson shows us how the state is actually violating that very law by keeping information from the public. Inside of this home is where local authorities say a Boone County teenager died from cardiac arrest. Investigators say the 14-year-old had not eaten for months, was unable to function, and had not been outside of the home more than two times in the last four years. The teenager's mother charged with child neglect, resulting in death. It's a story that sent WSAZ searching for answers, starting with taking a close look at this law. The West Virginia Department of Human Services says it requires the agency to keep quiet. It is that law the agency pointed to in this lengthy statement. It issued on behalf of Child Protective Services just days after the teen's death. A day later, I asked the governor if that statement meant that CPS had a history in that child's life. You know, Curtis, the, the CPS folks, from what I understand, had, had no idea about this, about, about this child. No idea whatsoever. So I asked Human Services to verify the governor's comment. Instead, a spokesperson directed me to carefully review its prior statement. So I did, reading not only the press release, but also the section of state law it referenced. And there I found one subsection that reads, the department in the case of a child neglect fatality shall make public information relating to the case. Here's the problem. I submitted a Freedom of Information Act request to the department for any information regarding the Boone County case, but my request was denied. So I asked the governor's office if he would direct his department to release the information. He has not. Patrick McGinley is a law professor at West Virginia University. He says the law is clear. It says, if there is a child fatality or near fatality due to child abuse and neglect, information relating to a fatality or near fatality shall be made public by the Department of Human Services. In short, how do you interpret that? And here the language shall be made public uh, is clear. The word shall connotes uh, a mandatory duty placed on the public body to disclose uh, information. So public means public. Public means public. The Division of Human Services argues state and federal law have imposed strict limitations on the disclosure of all records and information concerning a child or juvenile maintained by the department. It acknowledges certain instances when information can be disclosed, but argues that shall be made public only applies to a small group, not WSAZ and not you, the taxpayer. McGinley disagrees, arguing the public and that small group are entitled to the information. The word public includes the media, citizens, corporate entities. That language is clear, and it's not dependent upon the language of the preceding subsection. But it goes further. Remember that argument, that federal law. The state says forces it to keep quiet. I found that is just not true. According to law, states like West Virginia must allow for the public disclosure of the findings or information about the case of child abuse or neglect, which has resulted in a child fatality or near fatality. Going even further, I found a federal manual that interprets that sentence. It says states must provide more than just general information. In fact, it reads in part, the intent of this provision was to assure the public is informed about cases of child abuse or neglect, which result in the death or near death of a child. That manual even listing minimum information that must be released. Cause and circumstance, age and gender of the child, any state services or actions provided to the child, any prior reports of abuse or neglect, and the result of any prior investigations. McGinley says that information in the Boone County case should be made public without delay. How do you believe that jives with the department's response to my request? Uh, I don't understand it. I mean, this is a basic rule of law. In denying my request, is the state violating the law? Yes. Yes. Uh, it's their responsibility to interpret uh, requests for information under the Freedom of Information Act broadly. Basically, what they said, sue us. That's uh, literally what they what their response was. And uh, there shouldn't be any reason for citizens to have to go to court 
to pay for a, an attorney and uh, to force the agency to do what the law clearly requires. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. Now, we also found that other states, including Arizona, Nevada, and Pennsylvania, have methods for releasing case-specific information. The best information received from West Virginia, an annual report summarizing critical incidents from an entire year with no case-specific review.